So we've uh, been sailing for about uh, four and a half hours. Uh, we had quite an exciting start because there were some very, very big waves. So um, we uh, clipped on. <laughs> um, we've, uh, I've just had some breakfast and a brew. Uh, we had a, a little visit from uh, three dolphins. Looked like they were quite uh, young ones actually, but uh, they stuck with us for about what 15 minutes, 20 minutes. Uh, Sarah's quite excited about that because uh, she's not seen dolphins off Lady Ash's bows before. Very, very exciting. <laughs> Uh, but now the uh, tide has turned and so it's not quite as dramatic now. The waves have uh, got a little bit smaller. So they're probably two, two and a half metres at the moment, but they were like three and four, occasionally like six metres. There were some big swells going under us initially. So we're cruising along around five or six knots. Uh, we've got one reef in and um, the sun's shining. Oh look, there's a plane over us. It wasn't really until um, I got here that um, I found out about the wall. So the wall was built to keep the sheep out of the catchment area, the water catchment area, and uh, it took them 18 years to build it. So on this day I set out to try and run the whole route, which is about 25 miles, but I soon realised that um, I'd bitten off more than I could chew really for this particular day. By the way, there are breaks in the wall. I think there's a group called the Friends of the Wall and they are trying to repair all of it. Um, certainly hasn't stopped the sheep getting in. I cut a shortcut back. Rather than go down into the valley and up onto the next ridge, I just came back along the ridge that I was on and um, ultimately it was still a stunning view and I still ended up doing about 18 miles and six and a half thousand feet. So at some point I want to come back and do the whole route. Volunteer step forward now. So we are um, on our homeward journey. Uh, I think we're over about halfway now. Um, We've been sailing pretty well uh, up until this point. The wind's just dropped, so we've had to go back on the engine. So, um, I think I can, you can see. See Sarah there at the helm. So we've had a few challenges on the way. There was a big bang at one point and um, the kicking strap snapped. The wire hose that holds the uh, boom down uh, went with a bang, so I've done a repair on that. Um, the auto helm stopped working, so it's graunching and making lots of horrible noises, so that will need some servicing. Um, when I was uh, hiking, I got the drone out to get some amazing sh drone shots, and that's broken. That needs to go back to the repair shop. <laughs> the toilet seat has snapped, so uh, Need to get some new hinges for that. 
So uh, yeah, got a few little repair challenges to uh, be going on, um, but nothing we can't handle. So the sun's come out, it's getting really quite warm, had to take our waterproofs off to cool down, um, and we can now plainly see uh, Anglesey, the home port in the distance. Um, so at least now we're back to manually steering the boat, boat, but we've got a good reference point. We don't have to just keep using the compass. Um, my iPhone's still going strong, so we've still got electronic navigation as well as the compass and uh, using uh, manual helming methods. So this is uh, home.